Hello, this is Cloughlop321, and this is PHP My Admin and MySQL Tutorial 06. And this one's going over exporting and importing with uh, the SQL. So, first of all, when you select your database, like I have here, you have all your information here. Well, you can go to export, and uh, if I've done this before, this is a more comprehensive review. Um, here we have all the things um, in my database already selected, which means that they will be included in this export. And um, of course, you have all these formats: CSV, comma-separated values, uh, Microsoft documents, Open documents, and other stuff like whatever YAML is. And um, there are some important things to note that uh, this option right here which is not checked by default will um, will uh, delete the table and then um, create the table when it uh, if you import it again now uh, this sometimes needs to be used um, unless you're doing an update export type however um, if you do only update then you have rows that may exist later on that don't exist in the past and if you're trying to update a role that doesn't exist then you have a problem so um, I like to use insert and if I know that I'm going to be overriding a database I will check this option right here that says add drop table view procedure function event so that's what it that's what happens right there and this drop applies to like drop view drop procedure drop drop function and so on. Now, um, there are comments that you can put in, uh, like uh, comment blah. Um, you don't have to have the word comment in it, uh, but uh, that's uh, you can put comments in there. And uh, you have SQL compatibility, like with MS, as in Microsoft SQL, Oracle database, and so on. With all these other ones, this is MySQL 3.23 and uh, this is 4.0 but uh, usually you do not need to do that if you're just doing it between normal databases like this um, so and then you could do use delayed inserts which means that it separates the inserts so that it's not just one giant blob that if there's one uh, thing wrong in somewhere in there it does not wreck the entire thing um, but uh, usually that's not a problem now if you have like a database that is really huge in terms of lots of data like say 3951 records that has a bunch of stuff and you have of course um, 6000 something records total you might have a little bit of a problem with your text file because it's really big but uh, not at that scale but you understand that that's quite larger than uh, than this little thing that project that I'm working on right now. So if I export it, you have several options on how to export it. You can export it as a normal text file, as a zipped file, or gzipped. Gzip um, is a GNU um, cross-platform zipping uh, program which is made to um, to freely and open source um, in an open source way of uh, zipping archives and compressing archives so and you can do either one of these I'm just going to do as a normal text file and you can unselect this and you, ha you have to be on none in the compression in order to get a normal text box like this so um, you have the information on creating the table like like so and then you have insert into history blah and it has some of the data there and stuff uh, like that so there are uh, many things in here which are kind of interesting and these double dashes means that it's a comment so that the rest of the line is commented now this SQL mode means no auto value on zero um, which pretty m much means that zero does not mean change to an automatic number. It just means zero is zero. So, 
and this of course is just for informational use so but if I went ahead and zipped it then I would get a uh, a uh, the database name dot SQL and then dot zip and I could just uh, open it right here and um, I have this uh, goal sys file here so if I open it then I have the same content right here um, in a text file which I can later use and uh, but there's one thing that's kind of problematic which is that when you're um, that when you're uploading you don't want to have it in a format that's not one of these uh, ones down here here so you can't use RAR or 7z or other things but uh, you can use the ones that are able to be exported so and uh, of course right here um, do not use auto increment for zero values uh, zero can mean a lot of things in the data world so if I went and browsed then uh, I couldn't really find it here but because I didn't actually save it but this is where you would uh, browse and upload however um, if you want to just copy the text you can paste it into the SQL querying window and execute it and of course I don't have anything in there but uh, then you would have your values once it's in and that's all for this tutorial if you have any questions comments or so on and uh, please feel free to leave a message on my site or subscribe to me on YouTube and so on um, if you have any requests, also feel free to message me. Thanks. This is Clawpaw321, signing off.